Hello once again, this is TransTat, and I'm with my fifth review of the day, actually my fourth review, my fifth video of the day. Um, this is a um, video, probably the second, uh, well it is the second movie that was released in the movie theaters. Um, that one would be the first one, World Trade Center, and here's the second one, U-993. I like U-993, it wasn't as good as another Flight 93, the one that was released just on TV, but they were both good at tales about the heroic uh, crew and the passengers of United 93 that fought back on the terrorists. Uh, United 93 was the only airplane that day that did not hit its destination, and it's because the flight crew and the passengers fought back. Forty brave people, um... It was on. It's. Just, I can't imagine the bravery it took to do that. I mean, it's almost certain death. But you know, they wasn't going to have anybody else die with them. If they die, then including the terrorists, it was 44 deaths as opposed to a hundred or a thousand. It's a real good story of struggle and overcoming, while well, overcoming the tyranny of terrorists. Um, and this one deals a lot with, well, it deals with the people on the plane and them fighting back, and that's pretty much what the video is about, but it deals mostly with the, um, flight traffic, flight controllers and stuff like that, and what they're going through, and, the, and then the, when they finally start to realize that there is something happening when Flight 11, uh, American 11 is hijacked, and you actually hear the actual radio with, Muhammad Ada talking to the, uh, what he thinks is talking to the passengers. Um, how they find out that that one's missing, that Flight 175 is missing, that Flight 77 was missing, and United 93 was missing. At that point, they went ahead and closed down all the airspace, which is the very first thing that's ever happened. And, and something else interesting, by t this all started happening probably around 8. 30, I think it was, around 8 or something, and by the time everything had been done and they decided to close down airspace by 12.30, over 4,000 planes that were in the air were on the ground. That right there in itself was a miracle, and nobody else got hurt. Now, I've never heard any official, any official word that there was going to be any more attacks that day, but... I believe if they had left the inner the airspace open, I believe there probably would have been more attacks. That's just my personal opinion. Cause we they there were still terrorists in flight school still in the U.S. that that they knew about, and why would they be going to a flight school if they weren't going to try to do something like this? But this is a really good one. It's about primarily deals with the flight traffic controllers and some of the people on the plane, and it's a really good DVD, and I like it. This is probably going to be my shortest review. Uh, I'd probably give this one a, probably about a 6 or a 7. It's a, really, it's, a, it's a good information DVD. It tells, like I said, a lot of the controllers. Uh, that's my short review of United 93. I'll be back with one more review of Flight 93. And once again, this is Transtat, and I thank you for, for holding on with me. Bye-bye.